Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion again with Jazir and Vilia and a bunch of racists who are getting up and leaving now, apparently. I'm glad. Vilia's reading a book. Jazir's just eating his breakfast. Um, and yesterday we traveled all the way here from Faragil. Um, then there's some fishy goings on here of the racism variety. And uh, we also made some incredibly overpowered shield potions. <laughs> uh, that's another thing that we did with our amazing master alchemy set that we've got. Um, yeah. And we killed a couple of gnarls in a mine. It was a tricky little fight that was. Uh, anyway. We uh, also... We're uh, given a quest by the innkeeper here to go and clear out the goblins in the, in the uh, fort nearby. Um, I'm beginning to think Jazir has slightly mixed feelings about murdering goblins after everything that happened in Faragil, but... Um, well... Goblins in the Elder Scrolls, unfortunately, seem to have very few redeeming qualities and they are a nuisance. So, and they do attack you on sight and whatnot, and, uh... Money's money! Seems awfully hypocritical to get all up in arms about the racism against the Argonians and Khajiits while he goes off to murder some goblins, but, um... Life is full of hypocrisy like that, isn't it? The owner of the Smiling Danger in Eurosec has had enough of the goblins at the nearby fort. It seems they attacked one of her customers and made off with the food and supplies they'd purchased. The local guards apparently don't wish to bother with pretty crimes committed by the creatures, so I have agreed to take care of the problem by killing the goblins in the fort. It's a shame we can't just get the food and supplies back rather than kill the goblins. I guess. But I'm playing Oblivion. I probably shouldn't be precious about killing goblins because there's a lot of goblins you have to kill in this game. Can I help you in any way? Yeah, we should get moving. Yes? I guess we aren't exactly going for a nice stroll then. No. How goes it? I have a soft spot for goblins. I, I just, I've always thought they're marvelous creatures. Not specifically in this game, just in fantasy in general. I like goblins. I like games where you get to play as a goblin. There aren't a lot of them, as it turns out. This is a discussion we had on a, a live stream recently, but there's not a lot of games out there that let you play as a goblin. The only ones I can think of off the top of my head are like the Styx games, um, World of Warcraft, and Enclave. Technically, you can play as a goblin if you once you've unlocked locked the goblin character, you can play as the goblin in the evil campaign. Um, yeah, not a lot of opportunities to play as a goblin out there. Which is a shame. Because I like the idea of playing a, playing as a goblin. I'd get a mod, like, for an Elder Scrolls game that'd let me play as a goblin, but it'd just, it'd just be too weird within the context of the setting to have a goblin, in, a goblin player character going around doing stuff and not being commented on by everybody you meet. Sorry, Beetle. Where are you trying to stand now, huh? Protect the weak. Pray at my chapel altars to receive my blessings. Well, Jazir is going to try and protect the weak. As long as by weak you do not mean goblins. Anyway, there was something as well about a blacksmith we could talk to who's apparently quite sympathetic to the Argonians. Um, and I think this is his shop here. It, was, it wasn't open yesterday, Anytime though. Talons of Pain. Ah, it's this guy. I noticed this guy in the, in the inn. He got up and left just as I started the episode because he's this, this dark elf with a slightly um, working class look about him compared to everybody else. Yes? Tell me about this mithril. It's a lightweight material, yet yeah, strong and has magical qualities. When uh, found in its natural raw form, the ore is purple and shiny. Like it's got a missing texture. <laughs> Only once it's been refined does it take on its more common silvery look. It's becoming increasingly rare to find in Cyrodiil, making it quite valuable. 
Can you tell me what can you tell me about your sec? There's more to this place than you know, but I don't want to bore you with that for now. This place gets along well enough. While it draws in a healthy business, it is one spark from total chaos. The Argonians and Khajiit are not happy with their situation. I do feel sorry for them, but it's not my place to become involved with their affairs. Tell me about it. I'm not sure I should be talking to you about this, but something tells me if I don't, nothing will ever get done. It will probably come as a surprise to you. I know it did to me, but I don't like the way that they are being treated. Not just the Argonians, either. I came over from Morrowind shortly after the Nerevarine left for Rakavir. I'm part of an organization there known as the Twin Lamps. The Twin Lamps? You mean the, 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 uh, the abolitionists? Yeah, we're a slave liberation group working to free slaves from bondage. I was assigned to bring a group of Khajiit out of Ebonar. Unfortunately, things did not work out. Two Argonians had joined us after we'd stopped arresting Kragenmoor. They both had other family with them, and somehow decided, uh, discovered who I worked for and pleaded with me to help them escape too. Someone must have overheard us talking. Our caravan was attacked on the road west of Shaden Hall. Imagine, in broad daylight, right here in Cyrodiil. What about the Legion patrols? Yes, indeed. I thought the same. Unfortunately, it seems luck was not on our side. We'd been brought here to Eurosec to recover before moving on. They just happened to have an empty lodge building at the edge of town where the two remaining Argonians and the Khajiit were allowed to stay. The Baron wasted no time making sure I knew they were not to be set free and would have become the labour force for his newly discovered mithril deposits. I was given a choice, work for them as a blacksmith to forge refined ore into weapons and armour or be arrested as a slave trader caught with his ore. But slavery is illegal in Cyrodiil. Yes, that it is, and that's why nobody would have questioned it had they turned me over to the authorities in the Imperial City. A Dunma leading a pack of Khajiit and Argonians. Surely you could see that things would not have worked out. A legion's word against mine. So now that I've told you all this, I first need to know, are you willing to help set this situation right? Yes, this must be ended. I hoped you would agree. Good. We need to come up with a plan on how to proceed. I foresee two put useful ways to go about setting things straight. Two useful ways, you say. Yes, one plan will involve subtlety and stealth and should be able to resolve things in a relative, relatively peaceful manner. The other plan is far less subtle and carries the risk of much bloodshed, but it's also less difficult to make work. But right, tell me about the subtler plan. You'll need to be able to move about quietly and be able to conduct yourself in secret. The Baron has information on the whereabouts of the missing Argonians. You'll need to be able to pick locks and hide yourself if need be. The job will involve the theft of two pieces of evidence. Explain the less subtle plan. You'll need cash and somewhere outside Eurosec to purchase several weapons, or preferably come up with them some other way. It's not a particularly difficult plan, but the people here would become extremely suspicious if I sold you several swords for no apparent reason. There's some serious risk involved though, some people may even end up dead. Please, consider the options and then come to see me when you're ready to decide on how to proceed. Mm. Valsharok, the blacksmith in Yurasek, seems to sympathize with the situation of the Argonians currently find themselves in. He appears ready to instigate some kind of overthrow. One method involving patience and stealth, the other involving the acquisition of weapons. I have a choice to make. Decide on one of his plans and move forward with, th with this or turn him into the Baron or the Legion. Hmm. There is a part of Jazir that would like to murder all of the racist townspeople. Would gladly give all of the slaves weapons and let them do the rest of the job. But... In the long term, this would get everybody into trouble with the Legion. They would send people here, they would imprison all of the Argonians and Khajiits after all the murdering... This would perhaps not be a very good idea. On the other hand, Jizir could sneak in, get evidence, do things the proper way. Well, the sort of proper way. Jizir is sneaky-ish. Sneak is one of his major skills. Um, it could theoretically be done. I think that's the way he want, he's going to want to do this. I don't. Th I don't think he sees... While, they, while there is absolutely a part of him who just wants to give them all access and say, Happy murdering! 
there's another part of them that's just like that is just going to cause so much trouble for them in the long term you know like <laughs> half a town just murdered people there's going to be someone's going to have to answer for that you know even if they were evil slaving people so i think we're gonna try and do it the proper way we're gonna i'm gonna have we're gonna sit and have a think about this though we're not gonna give him a reply until we um until we've gone and done with dealt with the goblins i think what do you want do you know anything about this dead dread pirate dean by the way Oh, yes, Dean was quite the interesting visit. You should talk to Miralina, the smiling Daedra, about him. Oh, it already did. I can fix whatever you break. Yeah, let's fix let's up our gear. Business. What you got for sale, dude? Skinning knife. You can use that to actually skin animals, I think, in this. I think. Steel die katana. Hmm. It's about as good as my axe. Ooh, well, it's a mithril armor. Quite expensive, of course, but uh, yeah. I got things I could sell you, dude. In fact, I think I will. I will not haggle with him because he's a nice dude. Have that. I'm I'm not gonna use this dagger of embers anymore, am I? So we might as well get rid of that. Um these staves as well. You got a great deal there. Yeah, that'll do. A pleasure. In fact, let's get some stuff Stop. off Philia. Can I help Um Gear. Yeah. Let me see. You're never going to use this battle axe, so I might as well sell that. Glass longsword. I hope she's using the elven bow. Um, uh, for boots, curious and gauntlets you're not using anymore, are you? And in the blue bag, we have the elven longsword along with all this stuff yes anytime yes can I interest you in some right uh, you know that stuff I said in the last episode about how when with a merchant the uh, the menus the other way around? That was clearly a lie, wasn't it? Ah, oh, but I got raked over the coals in the comments for that, didn't I? Oh, I can just see it now. I'm recording this the same day as the last episode, so I haven't seen any of those comments yet. But uh, I can just imagine them. Anyway, mate. My mercantile increased. Jolly good. Oh, no. Those are my nice deer skin boots. I want to get rid of them. I was hoping he might buy the, uh, the the gold nuggets and gems and things off me, but it looks like he won't. Thank you. Come again. All right, let's put some coin in our pockets. You too. Okay, gobbos. Do you think we could just go and ask the goblins to give these supplies back? We could give it a try. Knock, knock, knock. He Hello? Hello, my name is Jazir. I have come because uh, I need to get the supplies back that you apparently stole, allegedly stole. I do not wish to make any accusations, but I do need the supplies. Nope. Okay. You haven't forgotten the... No, 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 no. I haven't forgotten about the book, but uh, I need to get your torch out, I think. Good 
Goodbye. Are you ready? Hello, goblins. I'm Jazir. This is Vilia. We have come to get the supplies. If you would be so kind as to return them. You don't scare oh me. Okay, you are not interested. I see. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Alright, maybe, maybe. Alright, I'm gonna use one of the overpowered shield potions. It's happening. Um. <laughs> uh. Okay. I kill you. Do you know what? They're not that overpowered, really, are they? You leave my friend alone, you bastard! Just keep it down a bit, Villian. It is possible to fight without shouting all of the time. <laughs> She's not very pleased with us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I like that they got us both. Um, oh boy, okay. Here we go again. You can just pretend that I'm uh, asking the goblins nicely for the things back. Like I did last time. Yes, hello goblins. Uh, I would like to get the supplies back, please. Also, maybe I'll use a poison. Let's just try out the good poison, shall we? Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Alright then. Let's use a bandage. Now that I've remembered they are a thing that exists. Enhanced bandage. Can they get rid of uh, diseases and something? I forget exactly what the enhanced bandage does. I need to check the uh, read me again. Alright, quick save. Carefully does it around the pressure plate. An Iliad coin. Iron banded chest, huh? Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Don't appear to be able to attack it. Yeah. I have to do this the hard way. Unfinished iron cures in a large deer, but well, that was worth the bother, wasn't it? Careful, Vidya. Careful. It's a good thing she doesn't set off pressure plates. Okay. Can I help you in? Yes, get your torch out. Talk later. Excuse the gloom. But none must know of this meeting. Recently used pickaxe. Trapdoor to Fort Eurosec Company billets. That is a diseased gobbo. You think you can beat me? Go ahead. Thanks, Vilia. I didn't want to get too close to it. 
Is it like in Morrowind or if I interact with its corpse I can get the disease? Apparently not. Guess goblins can see in the dark. Any more of them coming? They're moving around down there, that's for sure. Wow. Nighttime really improves your visibility in this place. Did they get him? Not quite. The goblins fighting each other? No? Oh my god, Vilia, really? what have you done? They don't seem to be hostile for some reason. Maybe it's because it's so dark they can't see me. Oh boy. Uh. Guess I should probably go down after her, huh? Blood skill. I could level up everybody. It's finally happened. Oh my god. These are some of the stolen supplies here. Take a couple of those. Very easy. Probably would have been quicker to just pick it open, I guess, but hey. I like bashing them open, it's quite satisfying. You are as good as dead. Oh, are you fighting them up there? That's got a lot of health, isn't it? This way, Vilio. We should probably find another way. Guard sack. You're a sack lockup key. And a potato! Oh god, what is going on in here? Marauders! Oh my god, marauders and goblins! Oh my. I don't think Villa's interested in helping right now, she's distracted. You know what, mate? You get some poison. You get the poison! That's what you get. You want some as well? Is he healing himself? The dick. Really? <laughs> I would like some help! Oh, the poison got him, thankfully. Friggin'. That was close. Mace of Frost, huh? Nasty weapon. I'm gonna use a bandage. There's someone having a friggin' conversation around here. Look, she's getting some hits in. Big 
We have a new. Maybe not. They're, na they're mages. Uh, Arg mages. Poison. Shield. Weak potion here. I need more healing potions. This is not good. I think the poison might finish her off. Yep. This is a good poison, this, isn't it? Why? Goodness. Certainly gets the job done. Maybe it was these guys that stole the supplies. Guitar fish fillet. Restore health. Um, yeah, good. Opening that just smacked her in the face. Parrotfish scales. Invisibility. Ooh. Okay, now I just gotta deal with the, those gobbos upstairs. Somehow. Bandage time. Guys. They're kind of stuck there, aren't they? Because of the logs. Uh. Oh boy. Uh. Oh my god. That was very nearly the end of Jazir right there. Holy crap. Well, that makes life a little difficult. I guess I can make the jump across. Unless. What's going on now? If one is one of the fallen. No, she's still just shooting him with an arrow. Nice. Well, can you keep him distracted? <laughs> Alright, you. Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. through a lot of healing, but we did it. You gonna join me up here, Vilia, somehow? Should probably drop down, shouldn't I? Let's try this way, shall we? I'm willing to bet the one thing she can't do is jump across gaps, so... Alright. Once more into the breach. two-handed axe malarkey, you know. I've slain the last of the pesky creatures in the fort. Time to go collect my payment. I think I'm very much going to include the marauders under the banner of uh, pesky creatures. This lock cannot be picked. I need a key. Oh, really? I did get a key. I guess it was the wrong key. Clay, huh? I'll take the feathers, I guess. I'm making more arrows with. Because I bet she's gone through a lot in that last encounter. Roasted rat. Mm. Jazir is probably quite fond of roasted rat, actually. But, um... Really, not so much. <laughs> Torn sack of grain. Alright. Can use another bandage. 
Need to make some more. Need to uh, need to find some cloth to scissor up. Or buy some, even. My axe needs repairing, actually. In fact, a lot of my stuff does. Wow. Considering we just got it all repaired by the blacksmith in the village, I'm amazed at how much damage it's taken. Oh, we're back up here. I see. Will you be able to drop down after me here, Vilnia? I hope so. Yes, good. She's a smart cookie. She just can't jump gaps. What do we have here? Lots of booze. Smash this open. There we go. Damaged my axe quite a bit in the process of doing that, but. Where my gauntlets, huh? Alright. Potion of strength. Uh, the Hall of the Goblin King, everybody. We have here a Staff of Severing. Poison of Weariness. Meh. Potion of Fatigue. Meh. Chameleon might be useful flour. I believe I can use that to bake things with, so I shall take it. Will of the Wisp Torch? Come again? In the quiet words of the Virgin Mary. Come again? What is a Will of the Wisp Torch? I love finding weird shit like this in this game. That's why I've installed all these mods. I love finding a thing and being like, what the hell is that? Whoa, cool. It's like a little caged will of the wisp. In a on a stick. Really, do you want a will of the wisp torch? I don't know if it's actually as effective as her actual torch is the thing. Probably about the same. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Really? Here in the goblin dungeon? Alright. Um, what do you think? I wonder what my mother would have said if she had seen me running around killing goblins. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what my mother would think of me now. Or my brother, for that matter. Um, check your gear. Um. Yeah, I just give it, give it the world of the Wisp Torch, see if she'll actually use it. Yes? Goodbye. Maybe if I take the what other ones you? away from her. Um, tell me your thoughts. Personally, I don't think a cauldron of skulls in the kitchen was ever going to make the guests feel at home. <laughs> That's amazing! She's talking about the one over there next to the throne! Uh, man, this, this spot is, is incredible. Um, uh, check gear. Take away that torch. Or should yes? we use the Will of the Wisp one? Enter this place. And she just magically summon a torch. That might be what happens, actually. If I do this. Talk later. Okay, then she equips it. Interesting. 
Now, is that is she now using that? Is that the default Oblivion behavior where they they aut- NPCs automatically equip torches when it's dark? Because if that's the case, that would be really useful. So I don't have to constantly manually tell her to get the torch out or put the torch away. I will let her continue using the Will of the Wisp torch, and we'll see how we get on with it. Um, if I draw my weapon, yeah, she puts it away like usual. Okay, yeah, let's yeah let's go with this for now. Let's go with this arrangement. Well, the wisp torch, man. I just, just when you think this game doesn't have any secrets left, it surprises you. Well, the mods do anyway. All right, I think we we are done here, aren't we? With the exception of that chest, I can't open. Oh yeah, I gotta be honest with you though. I don't think the world of the wisp torch is quite an, as effective a light source as the regular ones. Which is a bit of a shame, but um, whatever. I still have not found this key for the locked chest, and I really would like to have it. Nowhere else to go, is there really? Oh well, that one will remain a miss. I did pick up a key, but for some reason it's uh it's not the right one. I'll leave it for now. I won't use the console in case it's like a quest thing, you know. Oh you still got it out, have you? Um Okay, maybe this arrangement won't work as well as Oh, no, 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 there you go, there you go. She's put it away. She's put it away. All right, cool. It's a shame it's not a little bit brighter, but the automatic equipping and equipping sort of makes up for it. Really? You're going to equip it in here? Oh, hello. Or not. It's you. Hi. A pleasure to speak with you. Well, you changed your tune very quickly there, didn't you? I have slain the goblins. Excellent news. I knew I could count on you. You have my greatest thanks for saving this inn's reputation. I'll make sure everyone knows it was you who took up the cause and made things right. I'm sure the goblins will return in time, but they won't soon attack us again. As promised, here is the reward for your efforts. Jolly good. Goodbye. A thousand got while well, she pays well. Slightly hungry at some time. Might have a spot of lunch, actually, and a cup of coffee. Cooked crab meat. Cooked guitar fish fillet. Yeah, why not? I need to look up after this is done what a guitar fish looks like. I'm curious now. How do you do? What is she doing? I guess she's just really fond of that thing. She's like, has to keep getting it out to look at it every now and again. <laughs> Whatever, I can live with that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Why not have a beer? Cooked guitar fish fillet. A carrot. Some corn. Whoa. God, she's still running around with that thing. Um, I was just thinking of doing some alchemy maybe as well while we're here. Need, need some healing potions, so. Oh. Uh, let's see. Ham has restore health. We've got a lot of that saved up. What was the thing I found? Rabbit meat, I guess. We'll, we'll be alright. Is there not anything else that's not food? 
Ah, Camberlet caps, of course. 9.15 seconds. I think I'd like a quicker acting healing, a healing potion, if I'm honest. For panic moments in combat, you know. Swap out the rabbit meat for... I guess this ham. Swap out the mushrooms for... Oh, I guess that'll do for now. So we made ourselves... Okay, we got like nine restore health potions now. That's decent. That's decent. That'll do. That'll certainly do. And one weak potion of healing. That'll keep us going for a while. That and the bandages. How goes it? Right. Well. 6.58pm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think what we're going to do is just hang here for now. Um, because we have a decision to make still. I think we're, I'm going to go with, um, I think we're going to go with the, uh, the more subtle attempt at the plan. I think I've decided that for sure now. Um, we're going to go with the slightly more subtle attempt at the plan. Um, and I will go speak to the blacksmith next time. And then we'll come back to the inn, and well, we'll do whatever the blacksmith needs us to do, and then eventually we'll come back to the inn and sleep and level up, finally! Won't that be exciting? For now, though, folks, that's it for this episode. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I certainly have. That was a good, fun romp through the, uh, the goblin dungeon. And, um, yeah. Tune in next time for even more of the usual shenanigans. Toodaloo, folks.